Alright, hello everyone, it's Team Rocket Place here with episode 37, I believe, on our Let's Play Minecraft Together series on my channel. On this episode, guys, I think I ran into some trouble, so I don't know if you guys noticed, um, it's kind of laggy right now, and I've been saying this for the past, uh, maybe like couple episodes that for some reason it's been really, really laggy, and I feel like I might have found the reason why. Um, so if I just go like this, I'll probably pick some up, but it's only 50 items, so it's not that much. I wonder, I don't know if I could go through here. Um, can I just, yes I can. Uh, no! Damn it. Um, how am I gonna fix this now? Uh, I'll fix that in a little bit, guys. So I thought it was gonna be that, because we really, really... Uh, fill the whole thing up. So I don't know if it has anything to do with this um, I just came over here because I wanted it since I've been in the area I've been loading this area up. So I wanted to check if it was full and of course guys it was completely full And now I went up there to go pick up the items. Obviously They've been despawning. So I think that has something to do with it because I don't know It's really really laggy lately and um yeah so it was completely full as you guys noticed i have some of the stuff in here already uh so for the beginning of this episode i guess i'm gonna be crafting all this guys um and we'll see how many blocks of kelp we get how many stacks and uh yeah so let me do this and then we'll get ready for the episode which uh yeah i've been getting ready in the past maybe like couple days um, actually for like the past week guys I've been playing here and um, there and uh, actually did a lot more so I'll show you guys um, after I craft this up so I'll be right back alright guys so after crafting all these chests which are 3 6 9 12 13 14 15 um, we ended up with almost four chests of uh, kelp blocks which is a lot guys um, Alright, so let me just take these really quick because I also need to um, add them to the actual smelter. Um, usually I have to do this and I think I have this running um, because these only had 30 each. And then this was completely full. So I ended up just uh, running it while I was actually uh, doing all this. That way I can put uh, more when I did come back. And uh, there we go guys. So I'm just going to have this running. And uh, yeah, so then the rest I could actually take them and uh, place them over here in our actual like little shop um, that we have. So let me just put this in there. And then these chokers I could actually just use them. Oh, I can't open that one. I forgot. Um, for here. And I guess I could always just place them in here. Um, that way if I ever need like a lot of them, I could just take them. And uh, there we go, guys. Um yeah so it seems like it's still laggy but not as much i don't know if that had anything to do with it to be honest uh but yeah there we go guys so on the last episode we did this we um actually dug the whole area and uh, we made one of these all the way down to the bottom um and i was just planning on doing that guys but then since uh, i wanted to play minecraft and i knew i wasn't able to record because uh, there's days where i get out of work at nine at night so I'm not going to be recording past 9. Uh, usually I do, but not always, you know what I mean? So um, usually I kind of like don't like recording that late. So I wanted to play and I ended up making another one, guys. I ended up making another of these um, cactus farms. So if we go over here at the bottom, um, I'll show you guys. So this one, the new one that I did actually has one more layer than... Uh, than the first one that we did because I was able to actually add it to the top uh, because at the top there was dirt and there's nothing here so yeah I've been getting a lot of cactus guys I actually filled these three right here I think this one's filled I think this one oh it's filled already and it's like half of this one as well so I need to uh, uh, start getting oh this one's built or I mean filled already no way what that's super quick guys um yeah so i did another one like i mentioned and i did block it up because i actually took one of these out so i could go up and down um so now what i need to do is just connect both of these and then have it go up and um all right so since we're running out of i think the hoppers will fill up 
Uh, yeah, I'll just come down here in a little bit. So let me go back up here guys and the first thing that we're gonna do um, is get the smelter started and at first I was gonna do one of these smelters guys um, Like the ones that we did for the other one over there and this one here uh, the reason I like that one is actually cub uh, cub fans um, The reason I like that one is that it literally doesn't uh, smell uh, more than it, it should or in other words I think like a kelp lock um, smelts 20 items so that special smelter or the smelter array actually um like like i don't know how to say it, guys so it doesn't go to waste like every item that the 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 smelter can smelt it smelts it perfectly so every like round so i don't know how cut fan did it but it works and i kind of want to add it here that way like everything was smelted and we wouldn't use too much um you know like the actual kelp blocks we wouldn't waste them but the thing is that the way it's actually uh looking like it doesn't really like fit having it inside of the building so like if i want to come in here and through in the building like if i have an i think i might add an entrance right here if i want to come in here uh the actual smelter is going to be really off it's not going to look good um so i was going to have to like go through the redstone and go through each of the furnaces and that's what i don't want you know that's what i didn't want and i didn't know how else to do it so i just went into creative mode I looked up a couple of furnace array like tutorials on YouTube just to get an idea of how they work and then I watched one of them and I kind of added uh, some of what he did I forgot the name of the guy and then I, I introduced the same like um, like the input for the ones that we use cut fence input so i'm gonna do it guys i already did it and if you guys notice here i have a hole right here so this is where the some of the rest on is gonna go and it's gonna fit properly right here so it's just gonna be uh, perfect right here and i'm only gonna be using eight furnaces and the reason to uh to that guys at first i was gonna do 16 um it was gonna be a little bit bigger and i was actually gonna curve it because this is how it's gonna go it's gonna go from side to side right here and then i was gonna like curve it right here and then like this but and i was like you know what 16 furnaces like the cactus even though we got two of them i don't know if they could keep up with the with the actual like uh furnaces so we're probably waste more kelp blocks or more fuel um than we should you know because i think it actually goes like four it, it does like every time it gets items it doesn't it's not like that one that literally goes around till it's empty uh this one actually goes and does two 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 rounds or two trips and i think it's like six or 32 it, it unloads 32 items so every time it gets 32 items from the actual farms it will go down it will place four of them and then it'll go back up and then once it gets another 32 it will go down and then i'll place four on each one and uh, so on so i think that's a better way because i have 16 yeah we're gonna lose a lot of fuel so i'd rather have it like this and at the same time it's gonna look a little bit better and uh it's gonna be a little bit smaller so let me see if i could actually do it because i actually got a schematic of it guys i could actually build it i could probably even do it right now because i did it earlier in creative but since i already did the schematic i might as well use it and um yeah so if we turn it on uh, let's wait for daytime because yeah it's not gonna look good at night so uh, let me sleep really quick guys and then we'll start it off all right guys so i had to take my shaders off because the schematica doesn't or the schematic doesn't work with shaders on um and yes yeah, so like i said i already found the placement i like where it is and now all we need to do is like build it and then just connect it to um our two uh, farms right here uh, so there we go guys I actually locked it because i wanted to uh make like this is where i placed it and this is where i liked it so i didn't want to like mess with it too much and this is the og2 this is the second version um and the the, <laughs> the reason for the og is just the original meaning that i i have my other smelter i got cup fan smelter um uh on a schematic as well on an actual file like this um so i i put the og just to say like it's original um, not completely original but it's just for me to know exactly what i'm talking about or what it is uh so what this is guys like i said i just went in creative use some of the stuff that the guy was doing and then some of the stuff from a cup fan which is the loader right here uh from cup fan and then this was just kind of like an idea that he was giving me like he he kind of did like his own um smelter and i just got like a kind of like just 
used it as a reference uh, to know how stuff works and then I just used this from him um, this is actually his but he like I said he had like a 16 and he had like a loader and unloader and um, yeah I just used state and then just did that loader right there uh, so it's pretty cool guys so I got my eight furnaces right here which is gonna fit exactly where I want it so I'm gonna leave uh, three blocks right here so this is a block that we could use um, this is another block and then this is another one that we're gonna leave for uh, right here on either side um, the same thing on this side I believe so one no this is actually being used one two and then three so since this is a little bit higher there's a farm under here so I can't take this away um, I'm probably just gonna have the, the actual building coming out of this one uh, this block right here so I need to make it at least this this long and um, then the farm is gonna be just yeah normal right here so we're gonna have three blocks as well going this way so it's gonna be a, a good a nice size actual building um, so the way that's gonna work guys now that I'm here um, that loader I'll show you guys right now actually let me get some few a couple blocks that way I actually actually built up and show you guys so this is the loader I guess I could just go right here um, this is the loader. This is cut fence loader. So uh, we're actually gonna have a hopper right there on top of the actual mine cart that's gonna be coming from the two farms. So we need to make an elevator uh, leading up to that. And then as soon as it hits six, no, I think it's five stacks that you can fit in one of these. It's gonna pull the actual like uh, piston back, and it's gonna make the the mine cart go. So it's gonna go once, guy. It's gonna go there. It's gonna bounce right back, which the first time the it crosses by is gonna leave one item in all the furnaces and then when it comes back it's gonna leave another item in both furnaces which is gonna be a total of two so then it's gonna go up here and then it's gonna bounce from there and it's, it might pick up some of the items now that I'm thinking about it um, since it's gonna have a hopper right there uh, it's gonna go down here and it's gonna make another round which is gonna place another two uh, a total of four so then it's gonna go back up here and then it's gonna be missing 32 blocks or 32 yeah 32 of them and uh, once it loads the 32 is gonna go back again but like I said if there's gonna be a hopper there every time it goes up it might like actually uh, take some off um, or from there and it might just keep going on and on and on uh, which that'd be great I wish it would work that way um, so that's how this works over here and then here on the side we got our uh, loader or like fuel loader which is gonna be a chest just with the hopper minecart right there so it's gonna get like this where I'm gonna load all the fuel I'm gonna press this it's gonna send and it's gonna go back and forth and then yeah till it literally fills them all um, and yeah so I'm gonna do that maybe I'll think of a way to do it since we are gonna have space back here um, I got enough space right here to actually do something since I, I think I got like two of them I'm probably gonna add like uh something right here where i could add more storage uh, maybe higher you know what i mean i could just add a bunch of a chest and that way i could just load everything at once and i don't have to worry about it for a long time um so that's something i could do so i just wanted to get the basics going um so it's gonna smell all the items obviously and then everything's gonna go into this right here which is gonna go one there and then i'm gonna get like a item disposer uh, down there to dispose of everything and then I also am gonna have this right here where it locks all the hoppers. So it's gonna have a lever right here. And whenever I actually wanna get XP, um, I'm just gonna turn it on. It's gonna uh, lock all these hoppers down here and it's gonna allow me to take one item um, or the, an item from the actual furnace, uh, which is gonna give me in return the XP. So if I didn't have this, I was gonna have to do the same thing I do when I take XP from these, is go down here and then take away this hopper and then that way there's nothing to pull it and then get the item when it's melted and then just put the hopper back, which is, yeah. Something that I don't wanna do, it's just annoying. So I do have this lever right here uh, that's gonna help us do that. Uh, so the way it works is just gonna send the signal down here and then is gonna get a signal uh, to the block under the actual hopper in return uh, but powering I guess the actual hopper and locking it and yeah so that's how it's gonna work so um, I did this in creative I kind of did this I didn't want to just follow tutorial guys and I think I really enjoyed doing it even though this is like just taking bits from everywhere it was fun like just learning how stuff works and then just getting
getting like your own way so it could work in your building um and i think yeah that was really fun guys i don't normally do that I just follow the tutorials um and this and that so i'm learning a little bit more about redstone and i'm starting to like you guys um, yeah, so let me actually build the whole thing and then we'll come back Once we're ready to actually build the the or maybe I might as well just do it and just show you guys going in here And then we'll probably work on the building. So I'll be right back. All right guys. So uh, there we go So now I'm just adding I got everything done. You guys see I got the minecart going back and forth uh, We got 24 items right now. The reason I started is because um, it's really quick the actual like farm is really quick. So um, I don't want like too many items lagging So that's why I started it and uh, right now what I'm doing is I'm just placing all our fuel Into the chest right here and if you guys notice I had a quite a bit of uh, uh, Actual chest just because I don't want to go back and forth. I just want to like load everything up and just forget about it for a while right here I have I think 11 chokers full of fuel um actually I, yeah i do have one in the back uh 11 guys 11 chokers of fuel that's crazy uh like i said i think all of these are actually from uh what's his name uh, steel toad he was selling them for like five diamonds each uh and choker so i decided to buy a lot of it and uh yeah so it's gonna help me out big time all right, guys, there we go. And hopefully I didn't lose a choker because if it landed in that hopper, I don't even know if it could pick it up. It's going to delete it. So I got 9, 10, 11. All right, I'm good. All right, guys. So, yes, this is a furnace system. Like I said, it's the same thing as we had it before. Um, now, since... Uh, what's in here? Yeah, so now that I have all these guys, I'm just going to start it. That way it could actually uh, load all the furnaces. And um, yeah, so it's gonna be placing one each time it goes around. And then the same thing with that. Actually, I wanna check that out really quick. Um, so I'm just gonna have this going on. Um, and then yeah, that, uh, that uh, dispenser is gonna be really annoying. So if you guys notice, right now we got 42. And then as soon as, I guess it doesn't completely fill up. Um, it's gonna go back and forth. It has 47. It doesn't even wait for all five stacks guys, which is a little bit weird uh, To be honest, I don't know why it does that um, I wonder if it's something that I did, but I don't think so. Why would it do that? Uh, so let me just come up here really quick And it seems like it's the same thing. I didn't change anything So I don't know what's going on with that um, yeah, so it's gonna be traveling guys the good thing is that it's gonna be filled up So obviously it's gonna like be going back and forth uh, quite often like right now It's been not that long since it's going um, And we're also filling up the dread kelp and I kind of want to stop this one to see Yeah, look how quick it also goes guys. So I'm just gonna keep that running uh, So everything's working fine. Everything should be dispensing because I can hear the dispenser at the bottom and I just built this right now um, So this is a different uh, hopper clock than the one that I've used before uh, that I've shown you guys uh, This is the one I got from pixel Rift, but I guess he said that it's been going around but he, he thought of it too um, So basically what it is I got a dropper right here that's facing in Oh, I don't want to pick that up. Just gonna check this green. Um, it has I have a, a lava source right here in the bottom So it's just dispensing the item It's hitting this block and it's falling into the lava uh, So the way this works is I got the hopper right here facing uh, Down and what it's doing is that as soon as it has something right here It's sending a signal to this observer and as soon as this observer gets a signal because it turns on it but powers I believe this piston right here sticky piston which pushes it up and then since it pushes it up it um like activates this one and then i don't even know how it, i don't even know i don't know um yeah so that's how it's working um so it's working right now guys i got it functional right now and it, i think everything should be running just fine i got all the uh, uh fuel in there i got the actual stuff working i got the dispenser uh, going i got everything running i got the water source uh so let's check it out down here and um it's a little bit messy down here i won't lie guys i, I had a little bit of trouble uh since i did do it down to bedrock um i needed to like move bedrock in order to 
or I didn't move bedrock but in order to make it work like the way I wanted I needed to get rid of this and place uh, some ice uh, but there's like a bunch of bedrock that's in the way so um, yeah the same thing I have here is I have the the dispenser right here and I have it all the way at the bottom instead of like one block high I have it all the way at the bottom and it's just dispensing everything uh, the reason I had to like do it this one instead of just having it straight was because of this piece of bedrock I couldn't do that without you know with this because this is where the piston had to go uh, so I wasn't able to do it the way I wanted so I just literally I had to move it one block to the left um, so that's working just fine so the water stream is going this way and then I had it going straight to this one, but because of the bedrock, for some reason, it goes this way and then it gets stuck right there uh, because this is uh, a bottom slab. Um, so the water wouldn't like go this way because I have a water source right here or I think right here. Uh, so the water source was going this way and it was going this way and it was going straight. Uh, so I added a, a bottom half slab right there. So that leaves like a block where with no water. So all the items that were shooting this way would get stuck there. So then they'd have to wait until this one would push something and then they would have to stack and then get it pushed. So it was just a mess. So doing it this way, I just have it running this way and then it just connects to this one and it just continues just fine. Uh, this one as well is pushing going this way since there's a block right there. Um, the water source is just pushing it all the way to the top, uh, to the side right there, which I have a water elevator. Um, and something that I need to do and I'm glad I got all these uh, shulkers is I need to get all the cactus from all these uh, because I did have to uh, empty them like I had to empty the ones that uh, were right there because I had to uh, uh, add it so yeah I got a bunch of chests with uh, nothing but um, cactus that I could be smelting right now so I'm just gonna get it take it to the top and then maybe just place it manually I don't know what I'm gonna do guys but I do have the shulkers uh, to do that now I didn't have to go get them so everything's working just fine guys as far this is the first time that I've used it like I said it's a little bit laggy hopefully it doesn't like make it a thing where it's this laggy but it's gonna be continuous yeah it's gonna be continuous um, actual like smelting non-stop all day as, as long as I have the chunk loaded since I'm here I uh, usually when I'm AFK I do it just for the actual like um, farmer here for the kelp farm that way I could be smelting stuff um, and for when I melt sand uh, smelt sand um, down here so usually like AFK so it's kind of like a two in one now I'm gonna have a three in one which is pretty cool um, I'm pretty excited for that so it's like non-stop um, the only thing I need to do now is come up with the building and just make it look nice uh, which I'm probably gonna do off camera guys and I kind of want to see this uh, right here and it seems like it's getting like seven at a time um yeah so i think it's getting seven at a time i think i could even leave it like that uh where it's just getting a few items at a time um so it's got like 30 right now uh no nah, i'll just let it come over here and then i'll do it because i think these are getting filled as well now that i'm thinking about it yep these are filled as well um oh no the how did I click on that? Um, this. So probably I'm just gonna have it like filled up always, and yeah. So everything seems to be working fine, guys. And then let's say that I want some XP. So for example, right here, I can just click this. It's gonna lock all these hoppers, and now when I smell something, I'm gonna get the XP. So if you guys notice down here, I got it up to this heart. So now I'm gonna get one item, and it's gonna give me XP. Um, so that's how I'm gonna end up doing it. Then I can just do this, and it's just gonna dispense the actual um, item into the dispenser down there. That's the only thing. The dispenser is gonna be annoying as heck. But um, there's nothing I can do. I don't know if there's like a silent one. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to leave it this way. Uh, because I can't go any lower since um, the, uh, under this is the actual farm. Um, so I'm just going to have to live with that, guys. Uh, and I apologize for that. So, yeah, guys. So now let me just come up with the building idea. Uh, because the episode is getting a little bit long. Um, and I just want to get it done. Because, yeah. Um, I'm really excited. I don't have nothing planned out for the actual building, but I got enough space to do my normal, um, like, uh, frames. So, yeah, I just need to come up with an idea and already have this down. Uh, so, it just, yeah, I just need to work around that. Uh, overall, guys, I'm happy with it. It came out cool other than the noise. 
how noisy it is. I'm just gonna have to live with that. Hopefully I don't hear it when I'm close by. See like right here, it should be working and I'm not hearing it. So um, I think it's when I get a few blocks from it. All right, yeah, so I literally gotta be inside of the building to actually hear it. So that's not that bad. I I'm good with that. Um, and uh, yeah, so everything's just working fine. I just need to, like I said, do the building around and then also the inside. But this is how I want it, where I can just come up to the item, uh, get it off the furnace after I turn it on, and then just get it ready. Because before there was going to be redstone right here. Uh, so in order to come in here, I had to go through all the redstone. So it wasn't going to look good. And then also as well, I couldn't flip it uh, the other way around because it was going to be like this. So it's going to look weird. Uh, so I kind of did the... I gave up on the efficiency just to get the aesthetics or aesthetics whatever you guys call them i don't even know what the, that word but i know what it means um but yeah guys so other than that i think we're good um i got all my fuel right here this should be filled already so i'm just gonna let it start and since they are minecart hoppers um they pick up the items really quick especially that one but if you guys notice um it doesn't literally go back and forth because yeah it's just uh, as long as I think because of the actual um, uh, what are those the these right here the what are they I don't even know what they I forgot what they're called they're not dispensers they're not repeaters um, competitors comparators whatever they are um, I think it's just the the signal that they uh, pick up and they all send it on so um, yeah so uh, let me work on the building guys and I'll be right back alright guys so I'm back and this is maybe like a couple of days um, after the last recording I actually been uh, doing a lot so I got this pathway done I, well not done but I just connected it uh, to this building right here as well and just continue it all around I haven't done the other corner though like this corner but the opposite side I haven't done it yet it's just there's like some dirt that I still need to remove um, but I did continue this way guys even though I'm not finished is I still need to do stuff right here um, on the sides like add maybe like benches or just uh, some roses just to conti uh, continue the theme um, but if we continue over here on this side and I know uh, I haven't shown the building I'll show it in a little bit um, I have is that a creeper no it's just a tree um, I have it up to here and I still don't know what I'm gonna do probably I'll just make like a little pathway uh, coming this way and then maybe like going up some stairs and then probably just continue it up here in case I ever want to do anything back here as well um, I have this area just to like go everything like all around the actual castle area um, so that's another thing that we could work on and then just on this side I kept the actual um, bubble elevator um, it's the same thing I haven't done nothing at the bottom other than just connect it here and then I'll show you guys right now um, so the building is actually simple guys like I didn't plan it out ahead of time I just kind of went with it and yeah it came out pretty good um, so it's really simple and if you guys notice actually fairly small compared to the other ones uh, let me see if I could actually go on top of one of these um, to get a better view um, and yes I have that down there I'll get to that in a little bit um, but yes it's a fairly small building and the reason I have it this small guys and I didn't do it like uh, this big was just because I didn't want to take away from these two buildings um, especially this one right here because like I said I still need to finish it and add glass and everything and I kind of want to make this stand out a little bit more than this because this is like not as important I don't know if that makes sense um, yes and I'm using my own uh, my old head from my old skin um, I'll get to that uh, probably on the next episode um, but yeah guys so I didn't want to like block this building you know it was gonna block and I didn't want that so uh, there was no other reason uh, to can make it a little bit bigger than or the same size as these so I just decided to just to leave it like that and like I said it's simple there's nothing to it I just kind of like I uh, gave some of the same details from the other two buildings into this one and um, it's still fairly big though like if you guys like look at it um, still still pretty big like 
it's still a big building but when you compare it to these two obviously it doesn't seem that big uh, so like I said I still need to work on the outside and the details a little bit um, this is the only entrance usually I have two entrances for for each of the buildings uh, this one this is the only one and then since every side is the same because it's like three blocks um, I decided to add a bunch of buttons and kind of like distinguish this like the entrance from the rest of the building So as soon as we come in guys, um, you guys saw the furnace earlier uh, I have it right there if you guys notice it's running um, And then one of the bad things about this building guys is that it's not centered So if you guys notice we come in and yeah, it's not in the middle um, And I didn't really have like any choice on to that uh, other than maybe changing the actual furnaces but this way it works and like I don't mind it 100% you know having it this way it does bother me a little bit but I think I get used to it because I'm not gonna really come in here um, quite often uh, only when I really need it uh, so yeah so uh, as soon as we come in guys we have the eight furnaces here um, if you guys notice they have been smelting and I've been AFK for for a long time guys I don't even know how long I've been AFK um, and let me take this face off and uh, there we go you guys can see my little panda face um, so yeah so I don't know how long I've been AFK I gotta say hours on hours um, although I did come here and I did take one of these and I probably got I don't know maybe like 10 XP from from this one and I had like 30 levels so I think I went up to like 43 so yeah I think I had like 30 and I went up to 43 so like 13 levels uh, but also a while ago and then I haven't gotten any XP from that so we're gonna find that right now I'm actually gonna get get it out of the second one because like I said this one's probably half of these other ones so I've been doing it non-stop guys um, and I don't know if that's on or off. Uh, so right here on the side to actually have these shulkers. Uh, these are the ones that I had with the kelp that I brought or that I bought from Steel Toad. Um, and most of these are full. Well, it's not turn it's not working. I'm lagging a little bit. But I actually already, yeah, if you guys notice, I already went through some of these. And the reason for that is because for some reason it's not as fast the actual like, uh, uh, farm down here is not keeping up with the furnaces uh, which kind of makes sense you know even though we got a lot of uh, cactus is still not um, as fast so right here let me show you guys see like right now we got four stacks and then um, well it is fairly fast but it's not as fast as this if you guys notice so um, I've been coming in here and just filling these out and uh, yeah slowly going through them it's not something that overnight you know what I mean I'll get empty but it's gonna take you know slowly over time the more it's been see like that one's already doesn't have anything um the more see this one already has 59 uh so i'm gonna have to fill these out manually um and i don't know what i'm gonna do with the other than making maybe making another uh, farm and having it on the side uh probably that's gonna be the thing but i don't know guys uh, that's a lot of work um so then i uh, yeah i don't have it running and um, I think we're good in this, yeah. So it's been running a lot, guys. I've been filling this uh, like a few times already. Uh, so it is a little bit slow. It's not as fast as I would have liked it to be. Um, but yeah, so I do have that door to come back here in case I need to like do anything. And then this is just like wasted space. But um, there's nothing really I can do back here. And then as we're going over here, um, the we have stairs. So we got this to go to the back for maintenance. And then we have this little upstairs and uh, this is just for our storage for our fuel storage and the funny thing is guys is that I completely messed it up so when I did this right here I did it I think on camera or something like that for some reason I didn't connect like the top half with the bottom half so like there was no way for the fuel to actually like all the uh, from the top get to the bottom um, and yeah, I felt a little a little bit dumb um, but I ended up changing it guys and this is how it ended up looking like um, I'm probably gonna mess with it a little bit but at the same time like that's a lot of fuel you know like I don't think we need it's like how many two four four double chest and then like a little bit uh, made 10 like 15 stack which is still a lot and then I also decided a bed and then just a crafting table and then just a regular chest so if I ever need to come in here like I said I always try to have um I'm always gonna try to have uh, like a bed somewhere that way if I'm anywhere I could just go into a building and sleep um, so yeah so let's check it out guys so right now I have 34 levels which is quite a lot which I would have uh, not had many but 
What if I die? What if I kill myself? You guys want to do that? Oh, I just took out my Elytra. Um, let's kill ourselves. That way we can know, uh, start from zero and get a better idea of how to, if I could fly, I can't even fly. I don't, oh my God. I don't even have my Elytra on. Um, all right, so let me just fly really quick. We'll, we'll experience some kinetic energy. Um, oh, I almost did it right there. And then what if we take our Elytra off? Yeah, there we go. Fell, fell from high place. All right, so um, spawn hopefully at our castle. Yes, I did because I slept before I started the episode, and I kind of want to hurry up, but I might as well put these on. And uh, it's, turn, it's turning night already, um, so let me just hurry up um, and come over here. So, all right, let's get one, guys. So if we click this, it's gonna lock all the hoppers at the bottom, which are not gonna pick up anything. Um, like I said, this one I already checked it, and now let's get this one. So zero levels, guys. Fifty-five. No way, that's a lot of levels. Ooh, wow, that's crazy. All right, so we're just gonna have to uh, keep that going. So there's fifty-five levels in each of these guys. I probably in this one's probably like thirty uh, levels. Um, so uh, I'm gonna have to get like put like a garbage can or something like that to dispose some of these. Um, every time I use it, um, but let me go to bed really quick guys, and I'll show you guys what I've been up to Since I don't know how long the update is guys, and I know that we can't breed villagers the same way At least I don't think so. I decided to start breeding them, and I um, just started this simple uh, Villager breeder whatever you guys want to call it and um, I've been like I said AFK with that So I've been doing it kind of like a, a two-in-one more like a three-in-one because I have the my kelp farm it's been running at the same time, so I've been just Dave Kane. And um, I started off with three villagers, guys, and now look at this. I got a whole bunch of them. That's a lot. So I need to figure out a way to actually like go through all of them and uh, get like rid of the ones that I don't want. But probably I'll do that like in an episode, and then probably we'll work on uh, like an actual building for this, um, and then just maybe name it the actual like villager trading hall. Uh, Cause I don't got that much room, like. If you guys think about it, I got four blocks this way, um, but I still need to make the actual walls and stuff like that. And then another four this way, and then I think another four this way, but not that way. So, um, yeah, I'm probably just going to use this space, and then, yeah, I don't know exactly, guys, to be honest. Because I can't dig down. This is where the farm is. Um, and, yeah, so I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos. And I guess I'll just catch you guys on the next one. Team Rocket Place.